Hello my darlings and welcome to my channel. Today we're gonna have a coffee cup reading, but a different one, <laughs> in a way. Today we're gonna make a coffee art, let's say it that way. I'm gonna uh, draw with your coffee. Uh, basically, you may choose from uh, cup number one or cup number two. We're also going to have an extended reading. Um, I, I'm just going to make one video for both cups, I guess. We'll see how it goes, okay? But uh, we will start with uh, painting your coffee. Uh, today in the morning, I remember that I had such class, art class, where we were all painting with coffee, with our hands um, and so forth. And I'm like, why wouldn't I do that in my reading? It should be interesting. But then in the extended, we're just gonna look deeper into your actual cup or maybe open more cards about it. Um, for those who don't like extended, uh, please don't write this to me. I mean, I will do what I want, it's my channel. And I rarely do extended now because it takes a lot of time, a lot of job, <laughs> if you didn't know, okay? But that's how I felt today and that's how it's going to be. But I'll try to give you the most information in this video. So I hope you chose your cup and let's start with cup number one. Whoever chose this cup. Let's see. What information will come to you about you? Something you need to know. Some information that will be valuable. If you see something for yourself, it's also fine. That means you saw a certain sign about yourself and only you needed to see it. Or you can share it um, in the comment section, that's fine. Interesting. I already see some uh, images in your cup, but let's see. I don't know if you can see it, but I do. Okay, let me put it this way for you, okay? So, um, I see a person that's trying to hold on to something. It's a big um, image of a person, okay? He could be very tall. It could be you. It doesn't have to be you, but it could be you. This person is trying to grab something and I hear it's not theirs. I don't know why this information comes. But someone's trying to touch something that doesn't belong to them. Uh, it doesn't have to be you. And uh, I feel strong, um, strongly that the universe doesn't want them to do something to... Oh my God, listen, listen what I just heard. Somebody wants to reach out to you, okay? And the universe doesn't allow them to reach out to you because they're not supposed to right now. 
there is a person who wants to reach out maybe they're writing down their message maybe they're trying to call you and they drop the call uh, maybe um, they always see you somewhere they're trying to approach you but something stops them from approaching you by the way you don't have to see what I see okay you just have to listen uh, they're trying to get to you approach you but something stops them and I want to tell you what it is the universe uh, sees them as a danger for you or the universe doesn't want them because maybe they hurt you in the past maybe they uh, didn't treat you right <clears throat> or maybe right now you're healing and the universe doesn't allow them to get to you for a certain reason it's a general reading we cannot say for everyone it's going to be the same but someone wants to grab you i see an image they want to grab you they want to get to you they want to have your energy but they're not allowed it could be love situation it could be family situation work related whatever it is for you whatever it means to you another thing i see it's like an image of a ho holy um I don't know why, I feel like, like a priest or a hermit, that's the energy I, I see, okay? And he's uh, putting something on top of um, your head. This is a different situation, okay? If, if you can see, uh, it's like he's putting something on you. And I want to tell you soon, the universe will, will put certain blessings on you that you not expect. It could come, I hear, in the form of um, unexpected money, um, unexpected check that you're going to get in the mail, unexpected uh, job opportunity, but this is a blessing. This is not a long term. This is just some, uh, like you go and win, um, I don't know, in a casino, you just go and win this one-time deal, okay? And <clears throat> the universe gives you those blessings i hear because you need them right now like you either you deserve them or you mostly i hear you need them you um not that you need even though somebody could be but you do need this blessing you deserved it you uh, it's well earned and i hear that you can get it uh, in a phase of a half of the moon like um 14 days or whatever the phase of uh, <clears throat> moon phase usually like I don't know 28 days it's half of it so in, within the next let's let's say 14 days okay you'll get it what else what else what else uh-huh I see like a uh, half of the heart. I don't know why is it half, but it's like it's separated from somebody. Maybe you right now separated from somebody like at, um, distantly. Doesn't have to be or emotionally. You're not talking to somebody, or you in a pause. It's like two souls, two hearts were separated for a certain reason and you only have uh, you only have half of this heart to yourself here I want to confirm what you need to know about this half of the heart here I want to open some cards for you okay I'm gonna just go with the flow however I feel Yes, King of Wands, some uh, person could be a fire sign or very fiery, very active, very attractive, I hear. Uh, mostly they could be fire in their sun uh, zodiac, I don't know, because there is a sun over here. Doesn't have to be. Yes, it's like something or someone separated you with the tower. It was some separation where love still was there with the ace of cups you still had feelings 
and you had to let them go for a certain reason. What about this? What do you need to know about it? Knight of Wands. Wow, I see that um, soon, for number one, soon you will hear from this person or you will hear news about this person that for example, you will hear that they, um, if there was a third party, you will hear that the third party is gone. Number two. Again, remember, this is a general reading. It's not going to resonate with all. And not, not everyone's going to get those uh, things. But if you feel it's for you, uh, soon this person will show up. Show up in your reality. Could be literally show up. Or could you have a call, a message. Or you'll hear from somebody about them that they are going through something right now. But you will hear the news. If this news will come from uh, another person, this most likely a woman or somebody who has um, longer hair or hair on top of their head, like they're doing something with their hair. Look at this. There is a woman over here. She has um, some kind of uh, ponytail or some like something on top of her head. Maybe that's how she, she does her hair. But you will hear from this person. What else? Mm -hmm. I also see a full moon over here. I think this is... Um, a like the next full moon or any full moon that's gonna ha happen next whenever you watch this reading this reading is timeless okay so this full moon and i see a waterfall coming on like over this full moon and i want to say just a second i'm channeling something Okay. During the full moon, things will start happening. Different kinds of things. Different kinds of people, different kinds of situation. It's like a flow of um, information from all different kinds of ways. And you're going to feel overwhelmed. Why? Because... You, I hear you finally found a certain balance in your life, or you will, okay? And you will need to, again, re, reprogram yourself, or like you, in order to have all of this that's coming, this flow, it doesn't mean it's bad, it could be good news, it could be anything, it could be people will approach you, you will interact with many people, but you will need to reflect on things that will happen around you. And for that, you will need to reprog reprogram, I hear, I hear those words, okay? Reprogram your system in some way. It's going to be adaptation. For some, it's literally adaptation to a new place. Look, maybe uh, you're going to go around the world. Maybe you're going to travel. Maybe you're going to relocate around the world. And you will need to adapt. And too much information, too much, <clears throat> too many new people, new environment. Um, things need to be done. And you're going to be like uh, reprogramming yourself. But look where you're getting. Look, this is you standing tall standing you don't have to be tall for that but look at you you are uh, doing great and this image over here of you standing uh, straight tall and powerful 
reminds me of the card uh, the fool in a way between the fool and the magician it's like you're still new to everything but you can handle it you are you can handle it very very well so you are in your power during the some full moon you are in your power but you will be reprogramming yourself and it's going to be a new you <clears throat> okay i see something else somebody wow i see an image um, of it's like a woman but it's not it's not a real woman it's more like an angel right and she's tapping your back trying to show you something please keep um track of certain signs that will appear in front of you and around those signs i hear number three exists for some reason it could exist in the form of something like for example the form of a card uh, the uh, side of it is seems like number three right it will appear in some form it's going to be in the middle of something in between of something seems like number three but it doesn't have to be an actual three but this is going to be a sign <coughs> that, so that that's that what we looking at and this angel <coughs> wants to give you information it's like tapping you it's like getting your attention say listen depends on what kind of message you get depends what you need to know uh, everyone is going to have a different message here. <clears throat> Listen, I also see some images. Uh, I don't want to point at them. But for some of you, I see a certain intimacy, okay, of two people embracing each other. And if you didn't have uh, intimacy for a while, or I'm talking about not just some intimacy, but actually like it's, a, it's more of a love embrace. It's not just intimacy. I cannot say certain things on YouTube if you know. So soon you're going to embrace it. You're going to be able to open up with your feelings or emotions or just enjoy your time. <coughs> For those who don't have anybody you may meet somebody soon or uh, you may see a dream where this happens with a certain person that's it's very obvious in this uh, um, image but i cannot i don't want to show it here And two people are they holding hands while they uh, while they have an intimacy, which means they have uh, mutual feelings. For some, it could also mean. <coughs> Sorry, I had to take my coffee. It's morning here. <laughs> Anyways, for some, it could uh, mean that. Uh, the feelings that you have towards a certain person are uh, mutual. For some, it's that's what it means, okay? But you know who you are. I also see an, uh, an, a person uh, with elongated uh, head, I mean face. They're wearing something on their uh, neck. Could be a necklace, could be some, um, I don't know. I even hear image of somebody. For example, they have a necklace. You know those necklaces when they, uh, inside of it, there is a picture of uh, their deity uh, or loved ones or somebody who not here anymore. 
some some picture they they keep and next to their heart this is not gonna be for all for some but this person is keeping an eye on you and this person uh, kind of hides their feelings towards you it could be also in the form of a tattoo but some image uh, they have a certain image uh, next to their um, chest area this person is uh, not indifferent towards you I hear here he is elongated face something on their um, body on their chest it's standing out okay so that's that and then uh, in the extended we're gonna look at your cup okay we're gonna deep uh, I mean dive uh, deeper into your cup and next time I'll do just a regular cup reading don't worry it's rarely happens uh, extended readings but I don't have to you know even say those things I'm just saying them because I'm trying to be polite and I hope you do too anyways thank you pile one I'm gonna keep this just in case I'll need it and I'm going for pile number two I'll just grab my coffee and be back with you Okay, hello pile two, whoever chose this cup. By the way, I want to say some information is running towards you and I hear this is towards like some electronics. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna paint <laughs> with coffee. Okay, and we're gonna look at what information you need to know. And uh, in the extended reading, we're going to look deeper into your actual cup, okay? So, uh, let's see pile two. Let's look at you. to right away I see you more like firm stable uh, prominent or however you call it because you see your paint is more clear let's say clear many things <laughs> to look at anyways let's look at your piece of art uh -huh. you could be pile two you are a little bit heavier than pile one but not in a bad way or any other uh, anyway it's, it's not really about that it's more about you kind of stuck to something and you don't want to change it i don't know what it is it could be a relationship that you're in you feel already you deep into this you may maybe this is not for all okay just for some uh, maybe you it took ma of, uh, many of your years a lot of your time effort and it could even be toxic but you're still there because you already spent lots of time in it it could be work it could be you working somewhere and um, 
because you already put so much effort, because you work in there for many years, or because recently you had a race and you're like, okay, I'm just going to be there in this toxic environment or some, I'm going to do something I don't like. But as long as I know, um, you know, I can pay my bills and stuff like that. And uh, you know what the universe is telling you here? Uplift yourself. Things don't have to be that hard. You don't have to be there where things are happening that you don't like, that drain you, that hurt you, that uh, bother you. And I'm not uh, telling everyone right now to, you know, quit their job or, or uh, you know, separate with their person. No. Maybe it could even be relatives, whoever you live uh, with, your roommates, I don't know. Or something you do all the time, many years, something you're doing here. And you cannot let go of it. It could also be items in your house. Hear me out, Pao Tzu. Items in your house that they just stand there for no reason. You look at them, they don't give you um, much emotions or not anymore. But because they are there for maybe family tradition or um, they remind you of somebody or something. <clears throat> or they're just there and you lazy to get rid of them. Those things are weighting you down. Okay? And the universe telling you, uplift yourself and uh, let it go. If it's an item, give a donation or sell it to somebody who will appreciate, who will put a new energy into this item and actually enjoy it. This is a, this is a donation... Um, that's coming from your heart and remember if you watched my last um, it's not really a reading but how to protect yourself video i was talking about it learn how to give out to the good ones and to like a donation but here we're talking specifically about items if it's a person and you don't feel comfortable around let it go or take a break this break could be an hour or two of your own time this break could be a weekend. This break could be forever, whatever it is. If it's a job that you don't like, think about what can you change there uh, to make it better, to make yourself feel better. Those kind of things. I also see a heart. I'm sure you see it too, but for me... It's in reverse right now but because I don't and look I almost uh, look at this look at this I almost uh, put the paper on fire interesting let me do something here okay because some some information needs to come out here Pile number two, <clears throat> you need a cleansing. Uh, either it's you and your heavy energy here that needs uh, to lighten up. If you um, know how to cleanse yourself, again, we were talking about it in my last video about how to protect yourself from toxic people. I feel like some people from that reading or that video came here to pile too. You have a very heavy energy here. If you don't feel that way, ignore this part. But some people need to hear it. For others, you are uh, somebody, <coughs> you have like um, jealous people around you that constantly talking behind your back because we look at behind the list, behind your actual reading, something you don't know, something's hidden, but the candle just showed us. Could be two people, two people here, okay, that's talking and they somehow affecting affecting you. And you need a cleansing here, okay? Okay, let's uh, continue with your reading. So this heart is uh, reversed, but because I don't read reversed, even when I do cards, um, here I will turn this heart, but something's off here something about your heart you could be lying to yourself 
for instance, you think you love somebody, but you don't actually or not anymore, and you lie to yourself and you continue going with this relationship. Uh, <clears throat> very specific. For pile two, it's very specific. Uh, for others, you waiting on someone's love. It's basically um, how un unreciprocated love. Yes, that's how it's called. Like one-sided love could be also here. When you love somebody, but the other person doesn't love you back, or they don't show you that they love you, something's off here. But I wanna look. Uh, I wanna open some cards for you, pile two. Let's look at you. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Three of cups could be a third party situation as well. That's yes with the tower. What's breaking your heart? What you need to know about this? Just wanna ask what you need to know about this heart. Queen of Swords. The world. Page of Wands. Okay. Um, yes, I already felt it. Some information with the High Priestess will come out to the surface about this love, about this heart, about this situation of yours. Uh, you will hear certain news. For some, those news will not be that good. You might hear, you might find out that there is a third party. For others, you will hear that somebody got married and you will realize that they didn't feel anything for you or nothing was there. <clears throat> this is the worst case scenario, okay? But with the Hierophant, it's a very good for you, which means it will allow you to move forward with your life. It will allow you to continue going with your life. Because it seems like you're stuck onto this thought, you're stuck about thinking about this person, you're stuck on something here, and you cannot let go, and it's weighting you down, it's um, not good for you, for your energy, and so forth. If it's a good um, outcome that you will find out, Four of Swords, the Fool, at once, then, <clears throat> then you're going to hear news from this person soon, within the next eight days. Uh, for some, it's going to be a bit later, it doesn't tell me exactly, but the most I see is eight, number eight, maybe on the eighth of the next month month eight dates days dates maybe it's gonna be your eighth date with this person i don't know or you met this person on the eighth or at eight o'clock or number eight means something to you so either you hear this from this person that they love you or they want to be with you or you will hear that they moved on or something happened there and you, it's still going to be a good news for you because it's going to make you move on. <clears throat> Continue. <coughs> Sorry, guys. It's a morning here. Continue going with uh, your life. <clears throat> so good or bad, it's going to be good for you. Yes, yeah, somebody from your past. Somebody, uh, you know, uh, you will get certain ace of swords, some clarity clarity that you lack here you will get the clarity that's why it was reversed before <coughs> actually i'm gonna make a little ritual for you to make this clarity come faster so you don't suffer or you don't wait for long okay <coughs> let uh, this person show their true face so you can see the situation clearly so be it okay uh, so you will get the news so okay another uh, image I see you have many things here pile too many things <laughs> anyways I see uh, I don't know why I see like a surfing board and two people are surfing or going on waves or enjoying their time Maybe you're going on a certain vacation where there are splashes, water, uh, maybe water park, I don't know. Um, 
something near water. You're gonna enjoy this time. It's gonna be not just you, it's somebody else is there. And um, you will be, ha you will have fun here. Some vacation, surfing as I said, something like that I see. And uh, this is a very, very good time for you because you actually gonna heal through this um, experience. I hear you're gonna heal through this experience. You're gonna recharge. It's gonna be very, very good for you. <clears throat> I also see an image of one, two, three people. So one person, I, I see two women and one man <clears throat> in the form of a bear or a panda, I don't know. Could be a lion here. Maybe this person is a fire sign. One second, someone's calling me. Anyways. Oh my God, what I just saw. When I put my eyes towards my phone right now because I was distracted, I looked again and I saw a completely different image. It's like this uh, panda or man or a bear or a lion as we were talking about. <clears throat> it appeared in like two people kissing each other, embracing each other. And two women, they have something in their hands, like, I don't know, like, um, I don't know how to say it in English, but they're not happy about what they see here. It's like two women uh, caught somebody kissing and they're angry. And they're angry. Hmm. Two women. Okay, King of Coins. Six of Coins. King of Wands. Okay, I told you uh, there, there are people involved here. Oh my God, oh my God, guys. I see a story, okay? This is not gonna resonate with all, but I see a story. The two people have a crush on each other or in love with each other. One could be an earth sign, the other could be a, a fire sign, or it's just two energies. And six of coins between them, like they have some, they do something together. Maybe you are the ones who will be surfing together, I don't know. But two people have hidden feelings or they hide their feelings. Be careful if your uh, connection could come out to the surface because some people are watching you and may uh, see that you. That you like each other. Somebody will find out the two people like each other. Or it could be you. Or it could be you that you will find out that somebody ha uh, is in love and it's gonna be a surprise for you. I ask, should you worry about it? And King of Swords, too many people are involved in this situation. Because not everyone's going to resonate with it, but too many people involved. And I want to say the only way that you will be should be worrying about this issue is if there is a third party that will find out, okay? Or you and a third party. 
or if someone's parents will find out that uh, you are with somebody or it could also be at your work um, because I have a lot of coins here and some work related business related yes or again, as I said, if there is a, somebody's married here, I don't know, something's going on here. Uh, I see an image of um, somebody will see something that they shouldn't see. Or the truth will come out. Wow. Um, that's interesting. Basically drama. A drama can come out here. Just be aware. When you're aware, that means you're already protected. But certain drama may appear here. <clears throat> yes. I also see a person here. He has a candle on top of his head. Like a candlelight. Okay, I want to look here. <laughs> I see a very big person, like in the light over here. I don't know. Oh, no, I, you actually, sorry, you don't see. A very big person over here and very small with the dark. So two people, they are um, talking to each other. They are holding hands. One is very big. The other one is very small. It could be you and your child, it could be you and your parent, or it could be you and a person that you love, but you have certain difference here, like age gap, background difference, uh, color difference also, skin color, or um, something is not equal here. Like, you know, this part of the teacher and the student. Uh, someone's married and someone's single. Some different uh, going on here, but you still holding hands. It's like you not giving up on each other. You not giving up on each other here. What do you need to know about this? If it's related to you this couple ten of coins justice and king of cups guys for those who uh, feel like you have certain boundaries certain uh, differences the universe is telling you don't look at that it could even be height difference like somebody is very tall somebody is very short don't look at that because look deeper look deeper into the situation into this connection because Listen to your heart. If you truly want to be with this person, it's in your heart. You love them. They love you. Don't look at the obstacles because those obstacles, they will eventually not going to be important with time. Okay? But your love, your what's in your heart is important. So here the universe is telling you, give it a chance. Give this connection a chance, even if you feel it's impossible. And I'm not saying for you to go into any third party situation. I'm just saying don't try to destroy this connection just because there are certain obstacles for now. They could be for now, but in like six months, one year from now, the obstacles could be uh, lifted. They're not going to be here anymore. Just stay maybe friends for now or... I don't know, this connection is very sacred and the universe is telling you don't give up on this connection just because maybe you feel that something's off or something's not right. Give it some time to process. Give this connection to grow. Give this person to show themselves how they really are. Because it seems like you may be... Uh, the way you see this person now is not really who they are. Or the way you see this connection is not really what it is. It may eventually become very, very sacred. 
Very interesting. Mm -hmm. I see a doggy here, you know, the dog with, you know, just like um, big hair, curly hair. And I want to say that uh, you have a certain friend. Wow, okay, well, so look at that now. You have that's the dog I see <coughs> with two ears over here. Uh, you have a certain friend. Uh, you may not in communication all the time, but I don't know why, but this friend knows more about you than you think. It's like they see more than you can imagine. It's not in a bad way. It's just they... It's like they, this is the person that likes to follow up, this person that likes to find out things, but quietly, they're not talkative, I don't see they are. They're just loyal, loyal to you, loyal to this uh, friendship. They're not talking a lot, but they are, they know everything. They're not asking a lot, but they know everything. Uh, that's what I hear. They're very protective of you. If you have such friend, keep this friend uh, in your life because they are, they have so much uh, admiration towards you, I hear. <coughs> it doesn't have to be best friend, even though it could be. Just a second. <coughs> I'm losing my voice. I'm talking too much. I want to ask about this friend. <clears throat> what about this friend? What's going on here? Two of coins. Judgment and ten of swords. Oh my God, uh, pile two, this friend is a little bit upset. Not upset, but they worry to uh, lose this connection with you. And that's why they're trying to be in, um, to keep track of your life because they're so afraid to uh, lose the connection with you. It's like they're always trying to be in touch, even if you're not, they... Why? Why are they afraid to lose you as a friend? Knight of Cups. Oh my God. For some, this person loves you. If this is... Um, if it's possible in your situation, because I don't know who you're dealing with here. It could be that this person is in love. If uh, it cannot be love situation, but just a simply friendship, that's it. That means this person is so greedy of you being their friend. They don't want to share uh, you with anybody. And they that's why they're trying to keep you, uh, keep in touch with, with um, be in touch with you. Because they don't want you to find new friends. They're afraid that you're not gonna, with time, this connection will separate you in some way. Yes. They're afraid that you will move on. For some, they're afraid that you will, I don't know, for some, you they're afraid that you will get married eventually and forget about this friendship. For others, this person is in love with you. Depends, again, depends who you're dealing with. And I have 10-10 on my clock right now. But they right now, in the Five of Cups, they worry. This worry is not coming to the surface. They don't show you this. They show you that everything is great. Okay? But in reality, it's not. 
yes it's it's your soulmate it's your soulmate um <clears throat> soulmate doesn't have, always have to be love it could also be friendships right but this is your soulmate that doesn't want to let you go and worries that you will uh, move on with your life forget about them uh, and that's why they trying to know everything even sometimes you don't know sometimes even you not aware that they find information about you or that they worry about you, this issue you may see them as very happy or everything is fine they don't show you their true emotions about this whole issue I don't know what made them think that way, that you're gonna, you know, eventually, slowly go away from their life, but uh, something probably happened before. Or something's changing in your life and they, they worry. Maybe you recently got engaged and they worry that you're not gonna have much time for them anymore. Or maybe this person is in love with you and they're afraid that you will um, be with somebody else. You know what I want to ask? If this is a love situation, right? Will they act in a certain way? Not just love in general. Will they? Uh, <clears throat> how will they react or act in a close future so you know it's them? Like, what will be their reaction? The same card comes out, hiding their emotions, hiding uh, what's really going on. Uh, they may show that they are doing great in their life. They're very hyper. They're very excited about what's going on in their life. But in reality, they're not excited. Or they may show that they're happy for you, but in reality, they, um, it's not that they're not happy for you. It's like your life goes on and their life is like a turtle. Like uh, they create a reality that they also, something also going on in their life. But in reality, your life is much more exciting and you are in your energy is much more stronger here. If it's love, then this person would like to be your emperor any gender or this person worried that you will find a, uh, somebody who will be much more stable who will be your um, eventually who will be your best friend and you will be, be in a relationship basically it's some little bit of jealousy going on here jealousy um, of not a bad like uh, you know not jealousy of a person jealous of you and they wish you bad no or they want something from you or they want your life no it's more jealous of you hmm. and look i have the devil and the hierophant and this is two opposites here okay so this person trying to be the hierophant uh but the devil sometimes pushes them towards being angry at the situation not at you at the situation this card neither once came out already 10 times i don't know they holding on to you and they will hold on to you as much as they can but i don't see any act like actions that they will show you something or they will do something but they will try to be more in touch with you, seeing you more, talking to you more, in order to keep you around. I don't know why I'm talking so much about this issue. I guess it was important. You know what I see? I also see um, a monkey here, a gorilla, okay, playing with some insects, I don't know why. Uh, it knows that it's stronger than them, 
and it lets them walk around, uh, being around. I don't know why. This is like an insects or small animals that don't have that much power. And it's okay. And um, this gorilla that I see here knows that those animals are not going to harm anybody. And it let it be. Interesting. You know what it could mean? It could mean that soon you will hear lots of uh, gossip about yourself or people that are curious about your life. But because you know you're much stronger than them, you just gonna let them be, let them talk. You're not gonna pay your attention or give your energy to these people. Uh, you're just gonna laugh at them. You just say, okay, they're just insects. They're just, they're small compared to me. Um, that's all they can do. Yes, it's like you're finding your strength soon that you understand um, your own importance but at the same time you don't try to beat anyone with it like with your strength your strength is so powerful but you uh, handle it so beautifully like you um, it's like you know the emperor and the e empress they sit at their tro throne right they sit at their um, they have their position and they're not just gonna get up and uh, pay attention to some crazy people running around. They know who they are, they know why they're here and they don't pay attention to those fools around them. That's how I hear it. I hope you understand what I'm saying, okay? I also see, uh, be aware, two people watching you this, those people because uh, I see like they're smashed their faces are smashed and I want to say they uh, either they have fake accounts somewhere where they watch you two people they could be together or separate doesn't matter mostly they're two separate people they uh, watch you closely but they are not showing their face or half of their face or you may see just their eyes or just their lips. Um, for instance, if they are on your social media somewhere, they only show parts of their face or of their body. They don't show the whole view. So you know, don't really know it's them. Mostly I see eyes and lips. So those people are keeping an eye on you. On your life, they're curious. Yeah, and one more person, they actually show their face, you know it's them, they're just very interested in your life. Anyways, that was your reading pile two. Uh, then we're going to go to the extending, extending video. Uh, I'm going to look at your cup. Uh, actually, I'm going to do one video for, you know, two cups so you can watch both. Uh, in the box down below, you'll get the information. And yes, sometimes I do uh, extended videos and that's what's gonna be, okay? Anyways, I love you all and I hope to see you there. Bye-bye.